All right, here we are. We're gonna remove that army blocker. We're gonna throw up a Natch intro card. Impley Blue Reach River. And, uh, oof. Yeah, but the point is with the Tomb Kings, you see, uh, they have four lords when you'd see a lot of other factions only have two, two legendary lords. So that's a big addition for them right there. They do have a ton of legendary lords, especially for a DLC faction. And it makes you wonder what legendary lord will you see in this matchup? There's no really clear cut choice. Any of them could be viable. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, who will we see? Well, what are the Tomb Kings at for us, Romulan? Well, we'll leave the Lord for last. But uh, going over the Infantry Corps, it's pretty solid. We have, by the looks of it, three Tomb Guard and four Skeleton Spearmen. Now, for the Cavalry Contingent, we have two Nat Karn Horsemen, one on either flank. Skirmish Phase is just two Screaming Skull Catapults is an absolutely beautiful unit. I love when these units uh, move chat as the actual skeleton body pulls the artillery piece forward. It is a beautiful animation and notable. For sure now, heavy hitting in this army. It is the dreaded double boner giant. And uh, yeah, with the leadership backing them up, we have a Necrotect, Restore, as well as the Stone Shaper for that passive missile resist and armor in an AOE. And for the Lord, we have Ark of the Black. Pretty standard, uh, straightforward lower choice here. Let's see, does he have, oh, I think he does. He has Doom and Darkness for that beautiful leadership bomb. And uh, besides that, pretty standard kit, Tomb Blade of Arkin, Staff of the Gash, Black Mortis. And uh, he does have My Will Be Done and the Curse. So he has the uh, recharge rate decrease, fruit recharge rate, the uh, ward save with Lieber Noctis, but uh, and of course he does have the Spirit Leech. Yep, I said that. Now, uh, I'd like to see if he can get a big Doom of Darkness here. That can be very strong against the Skaven, but uh, we will see a very range heavy army, and it could be countered with some of the tools the Skaven have brought. Now, what has the Rat Lord brought to deal with these uh, Tomb King army? I saw. Well, the rats over here, first of all, are going to have a pretty big army 1,300 units in it. Far left, we're going to have two Clan Rat Spears, a third Clan Rat Spear, and we're going to have a front line consisting of Clan Rat Spear, I mean Clan Rats with shields, and the Clan Vulcan Tail Slashers as well. We're going to have a fourth Clan Rat Spear over here on the far right flank, uh, so looks like a bit heavier spears on the left, but I'm not sure, they might have just forgotten those two Skaven Spears by the looks of it. Yeah, it does look like they've been uh, yeah, left out yeah. of the party. Uh, three units of rat ogres here. Some plague monks holding down the center. We got Ickets a zap. Skaven slaves slingers on either flank. Two of them. Got some poison wind mortars. Natty boo sharpshooters, as well as that artillery I just mentioned. Now, for the leadership here, we have an Eshen sorcerer. Eshen sorcerer here is going to be bringing Black Whirlwind, Warp Stars, Toxic Rain. And then we're also going to have the Double Assassin. So, we got one Assassin here at the Assassin's Trophy, nothing else, and then Deathmaster Sneaksh. He's going to have the lovely Deathmaster Sigil to net people in place, have to be heroes. Got a Concealment Bomb and Slippery. Rat Ogre's running into the forest to avoid any Bone Giant fire by the looks of it, and I have to say, I like the Hero Squad here, I mean, the Bone Giants ain't going to be sniping that anytime soon, but the Bone Giants sure are going to have a field day killing this poor um, Zazap ROR warp lightning cannon. But Natty Boo Boo Sharpshooter's desperately trying to help out uh, with the counter fire. Yeah, they need to get there in a hurry. A few volleys incoming and uh, yeah, that Ikit Zap Cat. Zap Zap could be Zap Zap and no more. Although, <laughs> okay, there we go. There goes model. First, a uh, few volleys were misses, but finally they did get a hit. And it was a bit hilarious as it went between two artillery models, but yeah, it can zap zap, we'll go down and go down in a hurry. Uh, oh, the tomb yeah. guard, or sorry, skeleton warriors though, getting bombarded by those poison wind mortars, doing so, so much damage. And, you know, I'd really like to see the uh, that hit squad you were speaking to earlier get in there, just go after the Necrotech. There yep. is nothing in this entire army that they're scared of. Yep. The bone giants have no hope of hitting the Deathmaster and the assassin in melee, basically. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just go after it, you know? 
this uh, Necrotect is just sitting there as, you know, another head for Deathmaster's uh, wall of trophies. And uh, I hope he's going after it now. They've been activated. Yep. And, uh, it seems like the perfect time to pop a concealment bomb, though, because they are yep. perfectly visible. Pop that concealment uh, bomb. Don't let anybody yeah. see what you're doing. Oh and no, I, yeah, the Daddy Boo Boo is getting uh, banished by the Screaming Skull Catapult. Oh man, <laughs> Screaming Skull. Damage. Just doing They're in a very nice work. dense formation, so they'll take extra damage when they do get hit. Man. <laughs> oh, wow, all misses. Nope. Sure, those Skaven are thinking they're lucky stars. Some throwing stars going into Archon, doing a little bit of damage there. But yeah, I couldn't agree with you anymore, man. Get the assassins over here. They're just sitting idle. And you've got to be conservative with them. Don't get me wrong. If you keep them full health, they'll be a very threatening unit the longer the battle wears on. But you have some opportunities here just to come over and kill that Necrotech. But it does look like we're seeing the Necrotech getting shot down by the Natty Boo Boo, Shar Boo, -Boo Sharpshooters right now. And I honestly think that's really a waste of their ammo. I mean, just go after the bone giants, you know? Because the Deathmaster, they'll... I mean, they'll just delete the next attack from opens. So, uh, the Natty Boo Boos have limited ammo. It's They don't have the most, so you really need to make the most out of what you have. Yeah. And, uh, your War of Lightning Cannon has... It's holding on, though. So this is really good that they push forward and they're really putting the two kings on there. Yeah. Back on their heels. And stuff. So they're still in very commanding position here. You're absolutely right, and it looks like we may see the Deathmaster Sigil go down on Archon here. I would be surprised if it doesn't. Nope. Wait. There goes the Deathmaster Sigil, but not before a summon goes down and blocks their way. Yeah, perfect roadblock being summoned. And, uh, yeah, I just don't like the the target here with the Deathmaster. Yeah. So you can really just go after the uh, Necrotech or even help support a Rat Ogre. Yep. Or the Bone Giant. But now look, it seems like it may be going a bit pear shaped for the Skaven. There's a yeah. huge Exodus in the front line being chased uh, by the Necro. Uh, yeah. Card Horseman. And the Ushapti summon in the back lines may clean up the uh, range for all the, yeah, all the escape range. Yeah. It's well then. That Rat Ogre. Yeah. Yeah, Rat Ogre's diving in on the Ushapti, but now the Nekara Horsemen can just get on top of the one remaining Warp Lightning Cannon at their leisure. They can chase off the Rat Ogres, and it is a shame. Like, it's a tempting target to go after the General Archon, but he is on a chariot, and you're on foot. Just go after the Bone Giants. Go after the... Necrotech, and you will get far more value because they can't run away from you. <laughs> the Necrotech we've been speaking to this whole game, he's still alive because he hadn't been singled out as the easiest and the main target for him. that uh, leadership hit squad. And now look at those bone giants are taking some withering fire, but they've been healed up with three stores and they're, yeah, they're fine. They're ready to weather the storm and keep putting down the rat overs with that massive missile attack. I mean, they're getting some decent damage against Archon right now, but. They need that assassin. I'm, uh. Why can I never remember the name of his net ability? Deathmaster Sigil. Deathmaster uh, Sigil, but yeah, it's. So just... It's just the Miss, Mar Miss Micro by Arkin. As long as he's, uh. mobile and just yeah, he'll be moves fine. around. He doesn't need to do anything besides go in circles, basically, at this point. The Bone Giants should be able to clean everything up. Uh, yeah. Oh. And these Screaming Skulls, HW, they're just netting value here. I mean, oh. 92 kills, 40 kills, it's Skaven, but that leadership debuff is really adding up. Oh yeah, all the terror routes it's helped support. And... Absolutely. Yeah, just a real shame to me. Like, I really wish I would have seen these assassins earlier in action, and just killing the Bone Giants, killing the Necrotect, because they easily have what it takes to do it. Like, right now, it looks like we're going to finally see them charge in, and we'll see what kind of damage they do, but there's Tomb Guard supporting them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem is the Tomb Guard. Tomb Guard is such a solid unit. Yeah. Uh, without much armor, they'll really be able to. Oh, wear they're not down even attacking them right now. Rear attacks. Yeah, and if they could have just attacked these Bone Giants 1v1, look at the stat difference. It is just massive. Mm -hmm. 70 50 on the Deathmaster, 30 25 on the Bone Giant. It stands on almost no chance to hit the Deathmaster. They just are decisive to go after the units, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Skaven got their poison mortars back online. Yeah. Natty Boo Boo Sharpshooters and the Warp Lightning Cannons is all, are all gone. But look at all the regroup Skaven units here in the back line. As long as they could, like, the Tomb Princes are, and Tomb Guard are getting killed off. If Snitch and his assassin get on top of that Bone Giant again, they may be able to knock it out. And 
Yeah, I absolutely love the Weeping Blade on Deathmaster Snitch. It helps with these Skaven Slaves so much. Very nice pairing, debuffing the armor, and then throwing in those cheap Skaven Slave uh, rounds. Absolutely, and with the Assassin, Assassin with the Assassin's Trophy, no AP. The, uh, yeah, Weeping Blade on Deathmaster. Yeah, if they could just take down one Bone Giant, maybe you could start snowballing for them, but it seems like with good target uh, prioritization, yeah. eliminating the uh, one remaining Rat Ogre, that's a decent health. The rest would just be uh, fodder for a Terror Route yeah. in moments. Well, but Plague we Monks are Death doing Master very nice against the Skeleton Spearmen who are trying to run away from them. And, oh, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about, HW. Look at how they're just yeah. ripping apart this Bone Giant. The Bone Giant... He can't get the hit in on Deathmaster, so he's just trying to run in. Yeah, and he's not fast enough to run away either, but more Tomb Guard he's coming in to support. Guard, yeah. Exactly. Once again, the uh, Skelly Roadblock hindering the effectiveness of the enemy. If he throws Most down the Deathmaster Sigil, though, on top of Archon when he comes diving through, oh, it would be so beautiful. I really want to see that, because the explosion from that Deathmaster Sigil could really delete the rest of these Tomb Guard forces if he times it right. Oh, and Arkin was getting close. Oh, what a nice summon there. Not, not and, uh, actually, it might be awkward positioning. It might not be able to block these Rat Ogres from going in. No, I don't so know if it will. And it may, I mean, it's crazy because the balance power almost just hangs by a thread for this game. But they yes. can just get on this Rat Ogre. They have a lane with the Esh Hit Squad. They have Overwatch Fire. <sighs> oh, but the Rat Ogres, rat -ogres. The terror, I really wish he wouldn't have sent those Rat Ogres up so quickly. Uh, but the play clock, I mean, sorry, uh, <laughs> Screaming Skull Catapults are almost out of ammunition. That should help the balance of power for the Skaven a bit once they're completely out. Snitch is going up to finish off one Bone Giant, but, uh, I don't know. I, of power now. He's just gonna route. I think you're right. It almost right. doesn't even matter if he gets hit, I think he's just going to be tilted by the balance of power. I say that actually. But I that summon is almost done if the summon goes away. Snitch. Oh, look, the Rat Ogres are after Tomb uh, Archon. Oh, Snitch. Death Master <gasps> Sigil. Oh, happened. no, but there goes those Screaming Skull rounds. Death Master's running his little legs off. Nothing's fast enough to catch him. Oh, my God. Oh, but here comes a big shot from the Boner Giant coming in, trying to hit the Assassin in the back. Oh, that, that skull's a Oh, my God. Why are the Boner Giants so accurate? Oh, my goodness. but Archon, he's so low. He might be able to get him. The bounce power is coming back in favor of the Skaven, but oh, they have no Warp Lightning Cannons. Dude, kill they that Necrotech no while you're there. They have no on their weapons teams. This battle hangs by a thread, and one or two shots from the Bone Giant may be the deciding I think one it's shot, dead. it's going to be over. Oh, oh to hide behind artillery, right Snitch. <laughs> hide my behind goodness. artillery. <laughs> and they're just running frantically after Arkin, just running hopelessly after Oh, oh god, that last one did it. Oh, oh the Bone he Giant ran. shot came in right in the nick of time to oh, save their asses. Otherwise, yeah. Snitch. Oh. My yeah, those Rat Ogres, so close to catching them. Yeah, and I think it's just the... Uh, oh, Deathmaster looks like he's... Uh oh, he was back for a moment and now he's Oh, yeah, he got blowed dead. up. Damn you, Bone Get Giants. In the face from the Bone Giant. Snick show most had you. <laughs> and what's crazy is uh, there's only one shot left on either Bone Giant. And with those last few shots, they uh, won they the game. The Death Master himself. <laughs> yeah, and look at this Arkin 453 HP. Wow. My goodness. That almost... Just one hit away from uh, the Death Master killing him, basically. That was so, almost the most crazy comeback I'd seen. Yeah. And that uh, that battle stood on a uh, Death Master Sigil's edge. And uh, look at those screaming skull catapults, though. I really gotta that, say that brings yeah. a, a big smile to my face. Those are only those are just Skaven, but still that solid kills. I think with Skaven you could kind of discount like half the kills. But regardless, that's pretty solid out of Screaming Skull. Maybe well, and it's not even taking into effect the leadership debuff it throws down there. It's a very useful artillery piece. Yeah, that might have been essential to get that initial uh, center terror route. Yeah. The center pocket buckle they really just got in the back lines and allowed those bone giants to get some more work done. But uh, I really would have liked to see some kind of... Uh, 
Just a little more wild tactics out of the Eshin hit squad there. Yeah. I mean, he could have done something crazy and uh, vanguard them in the rear if he wanted to, or somewhere on the side of the map. He really he even could have ran around the opposite side of the lake if he wanted to, you know. <laughs> just uh, take the wide route and then uh, mm -hmm. come up from behind and just, uh, yeah, shank Arkin.